Good morning, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to try to stay on point in this particular video because there's a lot of stuff in my mind. But I have to um, stay on point so that you all can understand what I'm talking about. Now, once again, I need to try to bring to you all and to help you understand this problem that we have with this movement called the conscious community. Now, <clears throat> let me just say, consciousness is not new. I, I am under the impression that there are some of us who believe and think and feel that consciousness is new. This uh, this new conscious community and you know these um, leaders and so forth that they have set up in the conscious community. It's all new. It's something. This is some new um, something that they're bringing to us. This is why I keep saying that. Consciousness does not need a movement because consciousness is like air. It just is. Consciousness is, is not something new. It's been here. It just is. It, it is an awakening. It's just an awakening. And, and it's just a realization of who you are. That's what consciousness does. If consciousness is not taking you to and bringing you to yourself so that you can go out, then you're caught up in some BS. Seriously. Because when consciousness makes you uplift somebody else as superior to you, or more deep or whatever than you and what's inside of you because see the whole truth of the matter is that what's inside of you is endless <laughs> it's an endless fountain of a fountain of knowledge it's, it's not like you can get to consciousness or whatever and reach a level and say okay i've arrived and that that's what I see in this conscious community. I'm seeing people who seem to have the idea that now they're here. Now they've arrived. I've done this. I've read two books. And I have understanding of the past, present, and future. And when you get to the bottom line of that, it's nothing but ego. As a matter of fact, the deeper... You get into real, true consciousness, you're going to lose all ego. It, it has nothing to do with ego. <laughs> so basically, like I keep saying, who want to debate has nothing to do with true consciousness because I'm not trying to be better than my brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not trying to be superior to my brother. I know that me and my brother are on the same page or at least going in the same direction. And so we need to hold hands and take each other. I'm not trying to get to a place that you haven't got to yet so that I can say I'm somebody. You see, we we need to do a separation. We need to do maybe we need to do a study on ego. And what, what ego is and how damaging ego is to live in our egos. Because like I keep saying, the more that I look and see and dissect 
this conscious community is all about ego. Men's egos and women's egos is what I see. So, you know, the detriment that I keep speaking about in the conscious community is that what you have is first of all like I like I like I just said is a people who keep thinking that consciousness is something new that's that's the first mistake the second mistake is how similar when you look at it in the in the in the context of a movement like they have made it is that you are looking you are bringing it right back to a state of religion you are you are religifying and i know that's not a word but I, i'll make up a word you all are religifying consciousness because you're putting rules on it you're putting concepts on it you i mean you consciousness is free consciousness goals there there's like i said a minute ago there's no limit to consciousness and people are putting structure and design and limits on consciousness because first of all you can't be more you can't be more knowledgeable than your teacher why because your teacher is living in his ego real true consciousness real true consciousness is going to make me want to help everybody all my people not the ones who can come to my debate not the ones who can pay $25 a ticket my consciousness tells me that the creator cre created me so that I could just give knowledge freely so that we can all get to a state where we all are elevated you understand what I'm saying not, not just a few of us because once again that puts us back in a state of ego anyway getting back to us religifying consciousness when we market consciousness we're putting chains on it we're putting bounds on it we're putting regulations on it we're putting limits on it when we market it and when we don't teach people that the truth of consciousness is you <laughs> You are the truth of consciousness. The higher you can go, the deeper you can look within yourself and the, the, the depths of what you can pull out of yourself, is a, that's where you can go with consciousness. It's free. And when I say free, I mean in the terms of limitless. So not until I learn what you know, then I'll be conscious. No, it's not about that. When you read this book, then you're going to be conscious. No. And we got people out here fleecing people that you can sell consciousness. And we, we black people are so gullible and we are so, we're always looking for something. Always looking for somebody to give us something. Oh, they have the answer over there. The answer is you, has always been you, and anywhere you go, and no matter how long we live on this earth, the answer is still going to be you. And this is what you don't want to acknowledge, because when you look at the fact that the answer is you, and inside of you, and not going to be anywhere else, then you have to take personal responsibility. And of course, if you have to take personal responsibility, oh well, that means I got to get up and do something. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do something. I'm too scared, first of all, to do something. And I've been mentally beat down so long that they've told me that I'm nothing for so long that I can't do nothing. And I don't believe we really think that. I believe the source of our problem is fear. Fear of learning who we are, fear of knowing who we are, and fear of knowing what we can do. 
Anyway, when we religify consciousness, it puts us in an, another state of delusion, just like Christianity. Just like Christianity, it puts us in another state of delusion. Now, Christianity has you pointing to the wrong and the evil, putting that in the, putting it in your mind that it's a man and a little, you know, it's, it's a little deity called the devil running around with a pitchfork. And so, that's your enemy, the Bible teaches you. But then, because Jesus Christ defeated him on the cross, he's under your feet. You have no more enemy. It's done away with. So you, uh, you have no more problems. You have no more stresses. You have no, no more anything because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. But yet, in your daily life, you're struggling, you're sick, you're depressed, you're angry, you're bitter, you're mean to people, you're backbiting, you're malicious, but yet, well, that's just the devil. It's not really mean. It's just the devil. And the problems that come about in my life that has nothing to do with the choices that I've made and karma has to do with the devil. Okay. So this is what Christianity teaches you. What consciousness now is teaching. And, and don't get confused what I'm what I'm trying to tell you. Consciousness is now putting you in another state of delusion as to where you're believing that it's all me and there is nothing else outside of me. Now, understand what I'm saying. Because when I say you need to go within yourself to find you, to find the freedom and all that, that is true. But what I see the conscious movement and these conscious teachers teaching is that, oh, well, you're a slave because you're a slave in your mind. You're being oppressed and mentally oppressed because it's all in your mind. You have no real enemy. The enemy is the enemy enemy. And so it makes you say, hmm, well, maybe slavery didn't, you know, maybe, you know, the white man really didn't do all this stuff. And maybe it is just a mental state and maybe I need to just break the chains of how I believe and maybe I need to just get up and just do something. Ignoring, ignoring the fact that I see with my awakened conscious mind a living, breathing man who is oppressing me, who is killing me, who is coming into my community, kicking in doors, who is wreaking havoc, who is writing laws that is keeping me out and away from things, that has pushed me into a place called a ghetto and then blamed me for it. A person who is writing zoning and housing laws to keep me out. A person who has established a system of credit to where if I don't have enough money, I can't get no credit. Or if I don't have the credit, then I can't get this. I can't have this. I can't go, go there. But yet, what they're telling you is that it's just you. You're just lazy. You need to just get up and just do something when I know that I see that I have an actual true living oppressor but like I'm saying this conscious community is trying to, to, to tell us that this is not true oh it's just all in your mind that's the delusion of Christianity just like Christians go and put everything and blame everything on this entity called a devil see let me tell you what let me tell you something about 
the white man and white supremacy world domination this man has not gotten to the place that he is because he's stupid you know I, I know a lot of times we like to oh the white man dumb the white man stupid the white <laughs> you can say that all you want this man is has not gotten to the power and to the place that he is in this world without being smart you won't ever all the stuff that you ever hear me saying about white people and white supremacy you never gonna hear me at least I hope I have not I don't remember ever calling them stupid <laughs> they do some stupid stuff <laughs> but no they have not gotten to this place in world as far as world domination like they have by being stupid you see they discovered a system of oppression and and let me throw in there also I don't think they did it all by themselves oh yeah I think they had some spiritual help you know that's a whole nother uh, teaching but yeah they haven't done it all by themselves but they haven't they're not stupid either okay so you know we we look at his place in the world and you know we say well well let me tell you what he does he pumps up his own ego and said that he did it by brute force we, we know it wasn't by brute force if it was about brute force then the black man would have been out of this mess if it was by brute force it's, it's not by brute force what he did was he created a system called religion as, that was going to shackle the mind of the people and of the world it was very very successful and he did it through religion and it's worked it's work I mean we 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 can say whatever we want about him but the system that he has put us under has worked now maybe that is because I don't know we were sleeping you know we were we were spiritually asleep maybe it was just his time to rule him I mean I, I don't know all of the whatever behind it and I'm not gonna sit here and try to make you think I know all that there is behind it but the bottom line is that he did it and we see that he did it so to continue the the putting in chains of the minds of the people he has to continue to use religion or some form of teaching that is going to religify you to the fact that your mind is under that bondage and I'm hoping that you're understanding what I'm saying he has to continue to bind your mind is what I'm trying to tell you so he he creates he created religion because before that the world as we know it Africa was spiritual so he had to find a way to bind you to capture you to hold you and to keep you and he does that with the with the chains of religion yeah the chains have are, are off us physically if you know what I mean as far as slavery but our minds are still so chained up and so he continues to find new ways directed at black people to keep us under that control so he knew that there was come a, gonna come a time when his reign is over he knew that as we begin to enter this new age that it was a conscious and awakening age and that it's really an age where he can no longer rule and control with the methods that he's been using so 
He knew there was going to be a consciousness. He knew that there was going to be an awakening of the people. So he's always thinking some years ahead. So he said, well, I see this coming. Let me go ahead and screw this up. Let me go ahead and create a conscious community. Let me go ahead and get some teachers and stuff that's going to tell the people this. Because I got to put my hand in it and mess it up. Or they're going to free themselves. Because if you go the way of spirituality, which is what true consciousness of self leads you to. Spirituality. You're going to free yourself. I can't have you free because if I have you free, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose where, where I am. I'm going to lose my power, my state. Now, it's coming anyway. I'm going to lose it anyway, but I still got to hold on to this as long as I can. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. He figured that out. He knew that. And you can't tell me he didn't know that because he's so far from where we are. As far as knowing things, not that he's smarter than us. I'm not talking about physical. Get your ego out of the way. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about as far as him knowing things and seeing things and looking into the future. He's more advanced with us that with that because he kept us in bondage for so long. He kept us not able to read, trained us mentally with his religion, with his education, with his everything. And so we are just not on that level of where he is in terms of him being able to go and screw up some stuff for us. Because, oh, I see that this is coming on the horizon, so let me go and do this. He is able to do that, and I hope that you understand that I'm not calling our people stupid or slow or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it in the sense that we have been held back for so long. I mean, the, the, the whole reason that we are in such mental bondage is because we don't know what he knows. Is because we haven't always had access to the books. Is because we haven't always had what what we have now a world of information at our fingertips. You know what I'm saying? And so that's kept us back. But now we're free. The education is out there. The books are out there. Everything that we need to know and learn and understand we can at this point but yet we keep putting ourselves in bondage we keep putting ourselves under teachers and we keep looking for saviors to save us when like I keep saying the savior is you <laughs> the savior is you now what spiritual path you take to find you that's on you that's that's you know you do that you're not gonna go wrong but when you get yourself caught up in these religions and things that can be made a religion with man-made rules and man-made concepts and man-made whatever. Because let me, let me just tell you the bottom line to all that I'm really saying. I truly believe that all of these teachers, conscious teachers and people who have risen up. It's like you ain't even heard of them six years ago and they got nine million followers. Where are these people coming from? These people are set up. These people are set up and these people are paid and these people are being paid to manipulate you and to mess your mind up and to mess your thinking up by the elite and those who have um, who it benefits to keep us in bondage. <laughs> Those people. Yeah. They're teaching them. They're telling them. They're giving them the understanding of stuff. Because it, 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 would, it would make no sense that if these people really are that conscious and know all that they know, that you're not talking about some black liberation. That you're not talking about some war. That you're not talking about some fighting back. That you're not talking about some free in your mind so that you can liberate yourself. That you're not talking about some homeschooling. That you're not talking about teaching your children. That you're not talking about freeing black people. 
But when everything comes back to what's in your pocket and what's between your legs, how am I going to get free from that? First of all, <laughs> you you helping and, con and continuing and keeping me tied to a monetary system that is falling worldwide anyway. So you talking about money and all of this to me, how is that a higher level of consciousness? Yeah, we know black people need their own. We know black people need their own schools. We know black people need their own. We, we need our own everything. But you hear a lot of these conscious leaders that are teaching totally against Africa and totally against the black man going and reclaiming who he is and reclaiming his land and taking back what was stolen from him. But they're telling you how to get a nice house. How to get a big fine car and how to get 16 wives. How is that going to free my children? How is that going to bring the black family unit back together because you got a fat house and you travel and live and go to the best places and you win debates? How is that going to free me personally? <laughs> Consciousness is going to teach you about yourself. Consciousness is going to bring you to yourself. And like I said in, in another video, after you find yourself and your path, you're not going to charge your brother to buy a book from you to learn how to do this. You're going to say, look what I got. Look what I know. Look what I learned. Come get this from me. I didn't pay nothing for it. It was free. You got it inside of you. Let's get it together. You understand what I'm saying? It's about unity. It's about humanity. It's about bringing everybody. How does it benefit me? Just like in Christianity, how does it benefit me in my life? How am I a better person? Because my pastor got 15 airplanes. Because my, my pastor got a mansion. How, how does that make me a better person? How, how does that keep me paying my bills? And, and no one is really teaching me. And I, I hope I'm not going too far off on, on y'all. But this is passionate for me. Because see, let me break this down real quick and then I'm going to stop. It, don't, it does not benefit me to see you wearing nice watches and expensive clothes and driving expensive cars. That, that doesn't do anything for me because I'm connected to you or because I listen to you. Like I say, just like in Christianity. Because I go to a big cathedral church and my pastor has such and such million dollars and such and such million uh, congregants. And drives a Bentley and has an airplane and has this and has this. That doesn't benefit me personally. But I bet you they will not teach resources and uh, what is that? What is that? Um, resources and provision. They won't, they won't teach that. Because you know why? Because when you understand from inside of you how to obtain resources and provision, you don't need money. They won't tell you that because money is what's going to continue to keep this falling empire on its, on its legs. <laughs> and that money is coming out of the black community. That money is coming out of the black community. And that's why it's focused and aimed in the black community. But when you understand resources and provision, but when you begin to have that understanding and ask the universe for you resources and provisions, I don't need money. What do I need money for if I'm if I have the resources to get what I need and I am being provided for? I, I have to go into that ex and explain that to you another time. Because I wanna I wanna cut this video off because I know I've said a lot. But resources and provision, you don't need no money. 
Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not delusional enough to say, oh, you don't need money for anything. Yeah, you need money for plenty. Because <laughs> I could pray for resources and provision all I want. But the light, the light company still won't. They cash for, for the electricity that I used. So that's not what I'm talking about. We, see, real true consciousness is not going to put you in the state of delusion. Oh, the Lord just going to provide. And, you know, just like Christianity, oh, the Lord going to provide. And the Lord just going to drop something into my lap. No, it, it teaches you and shows you how to go and do something and get something from with your own hands and from your own mind and something that you produce. You understand what I'm saying? And with that, you have the provision, you have the resources that you need. It's, it's not sitting around waiting on something or once I finally understand money and once I finally understand stocks and bonds and all this, then I'm going to be OK. No, you're not going to be OK, because realistically, it's still going to fall. And what are you going to do when other countries make the dollar fall because they're just not using it? Then your money is useless, useless and worthless. You might have a million of them, but it's still useless and worthless. Now you got resources and provision you can make. You can you can provide for yourself the things that you need. You guys, um, like I said, this this I have so much passion in me about the conscious community because I feel like they're fleecing the people with a bunch of mental bull BS. Just a bunch of mental BS. And they got you looking to them like they're saviors. And they got you looking to them as if they have the answers that you need. When we as a people need to get up, stop looking for a savior, and do it ourselves. How do you do it yourself? Go in here. The universe has provided for you everything that you need to do everything that you need to do in this life. Do you think he, he would... Do you think the universe would create you and put you in a helpless state to where you just can't do nothing? No. That's not even living. You don't even you don't even need to, to exist if that's gonna be the case. All of the power that you that is needed to do everything that we need to do is in us. The only person, the only ones that's going to free the black community is us. Only us. But when we keep looking to somebody else for salvation, when we keep looking for somebody else to give us something, you know, and if you give me this right here, then I can do something with it. No, I'm going to produce it myself. And when we come together as a whole community, we can do more. What do they say? A threefold cord is not easily broken. That You need people. <laughs> it's not me out here flying solo by myself, being the man on top. No, it's about everybody. You guys, I thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, um, please comment, please subscribe. Please let me know if you understand what I'm trying to say or if you need me to go more into something that I said. <laughs> because I probably, I don't know, I hope I didn't lose anybody. But until the next video, hope you have a great day. And we'll see you next time.